Racine Business's security camera catches this. It looks like a man setting off fireworks. One goes right towards a building. Christina Venzels is live outside the Twins Food Mart with why they're feeling lucky today. Christina? It's pretty surprising because the only damage was done here was outside on the side of the building on their sign. Now, the owner here says they have dozens of security cameras on the property, and it's what those cameras catch after the fire starts that has him feeling pretty lucky today. It's a busy Monday at Twins Food Mart. You're all summer. You're good day, man. You'd never know the store could have burned down the night before. He could have pretty much burned the building down from being so careless with, with his fireworks. The Racine shop's cameras were rolling Sunday night when they caught this man lighting what appears to be fireworks in the middle of the road. We heard some uh, like pretty loud bangs. Racine Fire and Police say it happened around 1130 Sunday night. The owner, Kareem Kanan, was at the store at the time, but it wasn't the sound of fireworks that startled him. A few minutes later, everybody from the neighborhood is, is knocking on the window, shaking the gates, you know, trying to tell us, hey, your signs are on fire. Kadan says a few people saw the smoke a few blocks away and immediately ran to help put out the fire. I just seeing people running with fire extinguishers, that was some, you know, like a sight you can't get out of your head. Because of their quick actions, the only damage was to the Food Mart sign. Police say no one was hurt, something Kadan says is a miracle based off the surveillance. The most shocking thing is like how careless some people are with fire and fire, you know, and fire safety. As business is booming Monday, workers are feeling blessed the community has their back. The owner here says he does not plan on pressing charges, and that's because he doesn't think it was intentionally thrown towards the business. Racine police say they did speak to the person they believe was involved, but he denied it. Reporting live in Racine, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News. Christina, thank you.